In mathematics, a moment is a specific quantitative measure of the shape of a function. It is used in both mechanics and statistics. If the function represents physical density, then the zeroth moment is the total mass, the first moment divided by the total mass is the center of mass, and the second moment is the rotational inertia. If the function is a probability distribution, then the zeroth moment is the total probability i.e. 1, the first moment is the mean, the second central moment is the variance, the third standardized moment is the skewness, and the fourth standardized moment is the kurtosis. The mathematical concept is closely related to the concept of moment in physics. For a distribution of mass or probability on a bounded interval, the collection of all the moments of all orders, from zero to infinity uniquely determines the distribution moment problem. The same is not true on unbounded intervals hamburger moment problem. <laughs> Significance of the moments The nth moment of a real valued continuous function f x of a real variable about a value c is mu n equals minus infinity infinity x minus c n f x D x display style mu underscore n equals int underscore n f t caret n f t x c caret n f x mathrm d x. It is possible to define moments for random variables in a more general fashion than moments for real values. See moments in metric spaces. The moment of a function, without further explanation, usually refers to the above expression with c equals zero. For the second and higher moments, the central moment moments about the mean, with c being the mean are usually used rather than the moments about zero, because they provide clearer information about the distribution's shape. Other moments may also be defined. For example, the nth inverse moment about zero is e x minus n displaystyle operator name e left x caret n right, and the nth logarithmic moment about zero is e lain n x. Display style operator name east left lane caret n x right. The nth moment about zero of a probability density function f x is the expected value of x n and is called a raw moment or crude moment. The moments about its mean mu are called central moments. These describe the shape of the function independently of translation. If f is a probability density function, then the value of the integral above is called the nth moment of the probability distribution. More generally, if f is a cumulative probability distribution function of any probability distribution, which may not have a density function, then the nth moment of the probability distribution is given by the riemann stieltjes integral mu n equals e x n equals minus infinity infinity x n d f x Display style mu underscore n equals operator name e left x caret n right equals int underscore n f t caret n f t x caret n mathrm d f x, where x is a random variable that has this cumulative distribution f, and e is the expectation operator or mean. 
when e x n equals minus infinity infinity x n d f x equals infinity display style operator name e left left x caret n right right equals int underscore n a t caret n a t left x caret n right mathrm d f x equals n a t then the moment is said not to exist if the nth moment about any point exists so does the n minus 1 th moment and thus all lower order moments about every point the zeroth moment of any probability density function is 1 since the area under any probability density function must be equal to 1 topic mean The first raw moment is the mean, usually denoted mu e x. Display style mu equiv operator name e x. Topic variance. The second central moment is the variance. The positive square root of the variance is the standard deviation. Sigma e x minus mu two one two display style sigma equiv left operator name e left x mu caret two right right caret frac one two Topic: Normalized moments. The normalized nth central moment or standardized moment is the nth central moment divided by sigma n. The normalized nth central moment of the random variable x is mu n sigma n equals e x minus mu n sigma n display style frac mu underscore n sigma caret n equals frac operator name e left x mu caret n right sigma caret n these normalized central moments are dimensionless quantities, which represent the distribution independently of any linear change of scale. For an electric signal, the first moment is its DC level, and the second moment is proportional to its average power. Skewness <laughs> The third central moment is the measure of the lopsidedness of the distribution. Any symmetric distribution will have a third central moment, if defined, of zero. The normalized third central moment is called the skewness, often gamma. A distribution that is skewed to the left, the tail of the distribution is longer on the left, will have a negative skewness. A distribution that is skewed to the right the tail of the distribution is longer on the right, will have a positive skewness. For distributions that are not too different from the normal distribution, the median will be somewhere near μ-g's, 6, the mode about μ-g's, 2. Kurtosis. <coughs> <coughs> The fourth central moment is a measure of the heaviness of the tail of the distribution, compared to the normal distribution of the same variance. Since it is the expectation of a fourth power, the fourth central moment, where defined, is always non-negative, and except for a point distribution, it is always strictly positive. 
The fourth central moment of a normal distribution is 3 σ4. The kurtosis kappa is defined to be the normalized fourth central moment minus 3 equivalently, as in the next section, it is the fourth cumulant divided by the square of the variance. Some authorities do not subtract 3, but it is usually more convenient to have the normal distribution at the origin of coordinates. If a distribution has heavy tails, the kurtosis will be high, sometimes called leptokurtic. Conversely, light-tailed distributions, for example, bounded distributions such as the uniform, have low kurtosis, sometimes called platykurtic. The kurtosis can be positive without limit, but kappa must be greater than or equal to gamma 2 minus 2. Equality only holds for binary distributions. For unbounded skew distributions not too far from normal, kappa tends to be somewhere in the area of gamma 2 and 2 gamma 2. The inequality can be proven by considering e t 2 minus a t minus 1 2 Display style operator name e left left t caret two at one right caret two right, where t equals x minus mu sigma. This is the expectation of a square, so it is non-negative for all a. However, it is also a quadratic polynomial in a. Its discriminant must be non-positive, which gives the required relationship equals topic mixed moments equals mixed moments are moments involving multiple variables some examples are covariance coscunus and cocortosis while there is a unique covariance there are multiple coscunuses and cocortoses Higher moments High-order moments are moments beyond fourth-order moments. As with variance, skewness, and kurtosis, these are higher-order statistics, involving nonlinear combinations of the data, and can be used for description or estimation of further shape parameters. The higher the moment, the harder it is to estimate, in the sense that larger samples are required in order to obtain estimates of similar quality. This is due to the excess degrees of freedom consumed by the higher orders. Further, they can be subtle to interpret, often being most easily understood in terms of lower order moments. Compare the higher derivatives of jerk and jounce in physics. For example, just as the fourth order moment kurtosis can be interpreted as relative importance of tails versus shoulders in causing dispersion. For a given dispersion, high kurtosis corresponds to heavy tails, while low kurtosis corresponds to broad shoulders. The fifth order moment can be interpreted as measuring relative importance of tails versus center mode shoulders in causing skew for a given skew high fifth moment corresponds to heavy tail and little movement of mode while low fifth moment corresponds to more change in shoulders topic <laughs> transformation of center Since x minus b n equals x minus a plus a minus b n equals i equals zero N N I X minus A I A 
minus b n minus i display style x b caret n equals x a plus a b caret n equals sum underscore i equals zero caret n n choose i x a caret i a b caret n i where n i display style d binom n i is the binomial coefficient it follows that the moments about b can be calculated from the moments about a by e x minus b n equals i equals 0 n n i e x minus a i a minus b n minus i Display style e left x b caret n right equals sum underscore i equals zero caret n n choose i e left x a caret i right a b caret n i. Topic cumulants: the first raw moment and the second and third unnormalized central moments are additive in the sense that if x and y are independent random variables, then m1 x plus y equals m1 x plus m1 y var x plus y equals var x plus var y mu3 x plus y equals mu3 x plus mu3 y. Display style begin aligned m underscore 1 X plus y and equals m underscore 1 X plus m underscore 1 y operator name var x plus y and equals operator name var x plus operator name var y mu underscore 3 x plus y and equals mu underscore 3 x plus mu underscore 3 y end aligned these can also hold for variables that satisfy weaker conditions than independence the first always holds, if the second holds, the variables are called uncorrelated. In fact, these are the first three cumulants and all cumulants share this additivity property. <laughs> <laughs> Sample moments For all k, the kth raw moment of a population can be estimated using the kth raw sample moment. One n i equals one n x i k. Display style frac 1 n sum underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i caret k applied to a sample x1 xn drawn from the population. It can be shown that the expected value of the raw sample moment is equal to the kth raw moment of the population if that moment exists for any sample size n. It is thus an unbiased estimator. This contrasts with the situation for central moments, whose computation uses up a degree of freedom by using the sample mean. So for example an unbiased estimate of the population variance the second central moment is given by 1 n minus 1 i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 display style frac 1 n 1 sum underscore i equals 1 caret n left x underscore i bar x right caret 2 
in which the previous denominator n has been replaced by the degrees of freedom n minus one, and in which x display style bar x refers to the sample mean. This estimate of the population moment is greater than the unadjusted observed sample moment by a factor of n n minus one. Display style tfrac n n one, and it is referred to as the adjusted sample variance, or sometimes simply the sample variance. Topic: Problem of moments. The problem of moments seeks characterizations of sequences μ n n equals one, two, three that are sequences of moments of some function f. Equals. Topic: Partial moments. equals partial moments are sometimes referred to as one-sided moments the nth order lower and upper partial moments with respect to a reference point r may be expressed as mu n minus r equals minus infinity r R minus x n f x d x display style mu underscore n caret r equals int underscore n f t caret r r x caret n f x mathrm d x mu n plus R equals R infinity x minus R n f x d x Display style mu underscore n caret plus r equals int underscore r caret n f t x r caret n f x mathrm d x. Partial moments are normalized by being raised to the power one n. The upside potential ratio may be expressed as a ratio of a first order upper partial moment to a normalized second order lower partial moment. They have been used in the definition of some financial metrics, such as the Sortino ratio, as they focus purely on upside or downside. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Central moments in metric spaces. Let M D be a metric space, and let B M be the Borel sigma algebra on M, the sigma algebra generated by the d-open subsets of M. For technical reasons, it is also convenient to assume that M is a separable space with respect to the metric D. Let one p infinity. The pth central moment of a measure μ on the measurable space M, B, M about a given point x0 element of M is defined to be M D x x 0 P D μ x Display style int underscore m d left x x underscore zero right caret p mathrm d mu x mu is said to have finite pth central moment if the pth central moment of mu about x zero is finite for some x zero element of M. 
This terminology for measures carries over to random variables in the usual way. If omega sigma p is a probability space and x omega m is a random variable, then the pth central moment of x about x zero element of m is defined to be m d x x zero p D x p x omega d x omega x zero p d p omega Display style int underscore m d left x x underscore zero right caret p mathrm d left x underscore asterisk left math bf p right right x a quiv int underscore omega d left x omega x underscore zero right caret p mathrm d math bf p omega and x has finite pth central moment if the pth central moment of x about x0 is finite for some x0 element of m. See also Energy signal processing Factorial moment Generalized mean Image moment L moment Method of moments probability theory Method of moments statistics Moment generating function Moment measure Second moment method Standardized moment Stieltjes moment problem Taylor expansions for the moments of functions of random variables <laughs>